is Chef Buck here today with one of the most intimidating of all creatures in the vegetable kingdom. Dun, dun, dun. Very scary. I wouldn't buy them myself because uh, I'm not a maskist. I don't have low self-esteem. I don't want to punish myself by buying a vegetable that's difficult and inedible. But if you have an interest in one of these, then what do you got, camera girl? Fresh globe artichokes. These are actually the flower of a really large thistle plant, if you've ever seen a thistle. And so think of this. <laughs> okay, that might be a little much. But when you're picking an artichoke, think thistle, think this. So the teeth, you want the petals to be fairly tight together. This one has been pretty forgiving. We've had it a couple of days and it's still pretty tight. This one is also okay. But you can tell it's starting to open up a little bit. So as they get older, they get less tight? Because that, oh. that sounds a lot like uh, oh, careful. me. Yeah, they I'm spread just saying out. a few years ago, you know, my body was a lot tighter than it is now. Yeah, you spread out. H is for heft or heavy because you do want them to have a little bit of heft. Now, if you haven't picked one out before, don't overanalyze it. Uh, you might pick up a couple and you'll see, oh yeah, some are a little heavier than others. That just means it's retaining more of the moisture. It's not as dried out, so it's fresh. And then S is for, and this is going to sound strange, squeak, squeaky. When you squeeze it, again, because of the moisture and because it hasn't dried out so much, you're going to have just a tiny bit of a squeak. Yeah, usually, usually when you're looking for something to eat, the squeakier it is, the more delicious. Whatever. But so that's THS, but you know, we said it with a lisp, so there's another S. Why? If you can get one to two inches of stem, then you're getting more edible parts. The inside of the stem, you can also eat. That's how you pick a fresh avocado. <laughs> Artichoke. <laughs> Okay. So now we've got our fresh artichokes home. So now yes. what do we do with them? So the top bits of the leaf are all going to be inedible. So we're going to cut that off so that you it's more easy it's easier to get to the part that you can't eat. A serrated knife is great for this, especially if you have like a bread knife. And so you're just going to cut through those, through all of them. You can make a little bit of a mess. But I'm going to cut just a tiny bit more off. Now, is it okay that the uh, some of the edges are brown? That does not mean, oh, it's bad. In fact, this is a little bit of purple that is natural to this variety of, uh, of artichoke. <laughs> but that's a very good point. Don't be afraid if it has just a little bit of brown on the edges. You know, just like us, we may not be perfect, but we're still good. That's right. If we're a little rough around the edges, that's right. we can still have some value. How far down are you cutting? What are you looking for? You're cutting so that you can start to see the purple in the center. So you can see the inner, the inner flower. You want to expose a little bit of the inner flower of the artichoke. Just like you do with any vegetable, the stem, I'm going to cut off just a little tiny bit. Just because that was sort of old. So Now we bought this from the roadside stand, but you've already washed this. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. This has been soaked. Um, in Mexico, they tell you that, yes, you definitely want to wash all your fruits and vegetables. So we've already well, done that. Even if you're not in Mexico, wash your veggies. Now you just want to make sure you have the right dish. Your dish just needs to have three things. It needs to be microwave safe. It needs to be able to hold the artichoke uh, face down with about a quarter to a half cup of water. And it needs to be a, you need to be able to tightly cover your artichoke because you're basically steaming it. But we're in an Airbnb, we're going to do something different. This is our container. This is our cover. So we're going to cut our avocado into fourths and cook a half at a time. All right, so you want to cut into quarters? I want to cut into quarters. All right. Am I cutting through to the stem? Yes. Nice. This does look like a thistle. This does look like something in a field that you blow on and little things float away. Well, how are we going to eat this? This isn't a food. All right, switch with me again. It is a food. Quit complaining. We are going to cut off the stem so that we can put this and this into this bowl. This is the heart right here. It is delicious. But you see this little fuzzy stuff on top? That is not so delicious. Because we've cut this in half, we can go ahead and scoop that out now. 
Again, if you had it whole, you'd do that at the end, but let me get a spoon. Just scoop out your fuzzy parts. This is going to be like eating something off the barbershop floor. Well, you're not eating this part. See, it comes out pretty easy. I just made it look a little more difficult than it had to. We don't eat artichokes all the time. That's because we got a lick of sense. They are so full of nutrients. They have potassium, they have magnesium, they have vitamin C, vitamin K, they have folate, they're fiber. They're one of the best Blah, 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 foods. blah, blah, blah. People are always trying to sell you on the health benefits of something that's just something you wouldn't normally eat. Yeah, but sometimes you want a variety. So yes, this does take they're a little like, bit. They're like, ah, it's difficult and it doesn't taste that great, but boy, is it nutritious. So we did an extra bit of prepping because we cut it in half. Now, I'm adding just a little bit of pepper. Again, we're in Airbnb. We don't have our whole spice connection. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of garlic flakes. But you can put whatever kind of seasoning you, you want You can on put there. whatever you want. And then the other thing we're going to do, even though we have a couple of sauces, is we're going to add just a little bit of lemon juice to the water. Can we use lime instead? Lime juice. <laughs> We're in Mexico, and yes, lime is much easier. And just for the sake of argument, I'm going to put it like this. You're going to put in some water. You're going to put it face down. And we're also going to cook the stem. Seal it. <laughs> I.e. put a plate on top. Oh, see, that's what I thought was going to happen. And see, because that won't work, we are going to have to cut it into fourths. So it will fit into the dish we have. Go brute strength. Oh, Bucky. Okay, maybe not Bucky. That doesn't sound no, very strong. No, that doesn't sound very macho. Is that going to fit all in here? I think so. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, since that's, we got... That's, that's, that's yeah, so that's good. perfect. Take it off. I'm going to add just a little more seasoning since we have a little more surface area. And we're not adding a lot. We're expecting that the taste of the artichoke is going to stand out. Alrighty, so you got it all seasoned up and you got it in your bowl? Yep. Got a little bit of water to keep it moist. Now we just need to steam it. So we're going to start right off at four minutes and then we'll just check it periodically and keep it going until it's done. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the secrets for knowing when it's done. Beep, 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 beep. So for this microwave, this artichoke, we left it in for about five and a half minutes, cut into thirds. Here's how we know it's done. You take one of the base leaves and you pull and it comes off easily. The only thing you're eating is this little bit of meat on the end. Yeah. This little bit of microscopic heart, almost invisible. So you can eat the, the outer leaves like this one. You can eat it. You it's can hard. eat it? You didn't eat it. Well, exactly. This here's the leaf. You didn't eat that. All you did was <laughs> scrape a little flesh off the bottom of the leaf. That's exactly right, which means that you haven't got to the tender ones. I'm just saying, be leery of any food that has the word choke in the name. I remember eating these, a friend and I, well, I'm going to date myself, but a friend and I would get together and we would get ready to watch Northern Exposure and oh we would God. cook. Talk about dating yourself. And we would microwave avocados and have a couple what, of sauces. What about microwave avocado? Dang it! You're just basically scraping away the bottom of this leaf with your teeth. Yeah. And that, and you're calling that food. Mm-hmm. And nutrients. Alrighty, show, show us how it works. Well, here's, now here's the other thing that can make it a little nicer, although Buck still pouts. <laughs> so we have two sauces. One is just um, butter and garlic. Eh, uh, eh, uh. Look at that. I got a little bit. Show me one piece before and after when you bite it and chew it. Okay. I don't even know if you're even going to be able to see anything, but we'll see if, if, <laughs> we'll see if this food is visible to the human eye. Okay, so now this is this is a leaf that you're going to eat off of. Let me see. I got to get this to focus. Okay, there it is. So and there's. Can you get the? Barely. I mean, this is just a um, a 4K camera, so it's hard to pick up the actual edible parts <laughs> of this food here. So Quit you're just dipping it. Yeah, you're just dipping it. And you're uh, scrape it off. Uh -huh. All you did was <laughs> scrape off a little bit of that flesh with your teeth. Yes. All right. I'm telling you, buddy, this is a, this is a, seems like a fairly disappointing vegetable. And then you have the stem. Now you can see three-fourths of this is the fibrous outside. But there's a little bit of core stem 
that really is as good as the heart. Have your little piece, dump it in a little bit of sauce. So you're eating that part and then you're throwing this away? Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this, whole, uh, this whole artichoke thing is a racket. Oh, no, no. That is not good. Just leave it for your compost. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty inedible. <laughs> now, this pink flower, red flower, I'm not going to argue with you about the color. You pull that out. The pink is, it's going to be fibrous. You're not, it's not going to be edible. But you can pull it out. And these pieces down here, definitely edible. They're very good. Okay, prove it. Okay. I like this balsamic. And it's like the base of the leaves. You just sort of use your teeth to get out the yummy part. It's hard to eat an artichoke and not look sexy, I guess. <laughs> if you didn't know, the thistle is a member of the sunflower, either genus, family, species, I don't remember. If you're a genus, you're probably not eating this. <laughs> <laughs> this, of course, is the best part, is the core. And we had scooped out some of the little hairy bits. Again, you don't want to eat the hairy bits. So we're just going to pull that off. Oh, that's some of the Yeah, the, little the fibrous, parts. the little hairs, you know, you don't want to eat the hairs off the barbershop floor either. So you're just going to throw those away. Then, dun, 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 dun. Ooh, it's still sort of warm. You're trying to make the most of a fresh avocado and getting a little bit of new. What is a fresh avocado again? Dang it. Dang it. I will give you a part of the heart. Okay, here, let me, let me try the heart. I'll, I'll happily eat the biggest part. <laughs> I'm going to actually do like this uh, mayonnaise and balsamic vinaigrette mixture. Yeah, by itself, it doesn't taste so great, but see there, you got a whole bite. It's good. I really like artichokes. But I'm just saying, you can go, you can go get a whole can of artichoke hearts. Mindfulness. Practice mindfulness as you I'm eat. Telling you what, I'm, I'm practicing mindfulness of my wallet. <laughs> Why would I want to pay for a fresh artichoke that I got to do all this to? Throw seventy-five percent of it away. I don't know. I'm too lazy. I'm telling you what, man. If you're interested in in a food where you're really going to enjoy ten percent of it. Boom. Put artichoke at the top of your list. <laughs> so that's it. So now you're just going to gnaw away on the rest of that? Yeah. One of the ways people serve it is they cut off the top and they stuff stuff in here. Cheese and breadcrumbs. That's right, because it's a food that if you're going to serve this here, you're going to have to cut it off that put actual real food in here and then serve it. <laughs> because this artichoke does not come with food. <laughs> Camera girl disagrees. I'm just saying, no, we don't eat fresh artichoke all the time. Hell I'm no, just... we don't. <laughs> you know, if you think that you got problems in your life, boom, get an artichoke. It'll make you realize that your life was going pretty good until you got this thing. If you want to check out some actual edible recipes, go over to myfoodchannel.com. <laughs> you can find all our recipes over there. I'll have a link down below. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. Uh, 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 Bye-bye.